Hey there, welcome to Biotechnica. I'm your host Shekhar Suman and today we are kickstarting a brand new series, a brand new way of approaching things in competitive exams. Yes, you heard me right. Today we are starting the how to and what to series. And this series is inspired from one particular incident which happened to me. I was sitting with a set of 50 students in an online session and uh, it was during the lockdown and one of them told me, Sir, agar hamare paas, if we had known what to do and how to do, we would have done it. And that stuck in my mind. Okay, yeah, that's right. Most of the students are very capable. Most of the subscribers of Biotechnica are highly talented. In fact, mo most, I should say all of them are very talented. And the only place where they lack is guidance. अगर हर अर्जुन को एक कृष्ण मिल जाए तो वो महाभारत जरूर जीतेगा बट टू मेक दैट हैपन द अर्जुना हैज टू बी फोकस्ड एंड फोकस्ड नॉट जस्ट ऑन द फिश बट द आई ऑफ द फिश सो टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद दिस हाउ टू एंड व्हाट टू सीरीज वेयर वी गोइंग टू टेक अप सर्टेन कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम्स फॉर लाइफ साइंसेस विल स्टार्ट विद सीएसआईआर नेट एंड वी विल ब्रेक द सिलेबस unit by unit topic by topic and we'll bring in experts invite them to share their opinion their views on what to do how to do and that will definitely simplify your life so today we are starting with our unit 1 okay and which is uh, biomolecules and we are getting started with one of the oldest and highly talented person we have got highly talented academician we have got in biotechnica and her name is mrs urmimala so i would like to invite mrs urmimala welcome to the session ma'am how are you thank you for having me in this very important series and your talk show sir thank you so much i'm doing very good and uh, i hope the students are going to benefit a lot from this entire series Definitely. So to start with quickly, let me give you a small introduction about the series and then uh, about Mrs. Urmimala. So every week we are going to pick one expert and one particular topic or unit. And we are going to discuss what to study, how to study, what are the pitfalls, what are the advantages and unfair advantages and disadvantages you may get in a one-to-one -one in interview format, just like this one. And today we're starting with unit one. We're going to pick up uh, CIS and NET, GET and ICMR and many, many such competitive exams in future. And to start with, let me tell you a bit about uh, Mrs. Urmimala. So she has vast experience, decades of experience in academics. She specializes in multiple units of CIS and NET. She's one of the strongest pillars of Biotechnica's academic team, one of the oldest. And she has been an inspiration to, for all of us. Her commitment to excellence, her commitment to her students, and her focused approach towards improving her teaching methodology is something which inspires all of us at Biotechnica. And today, as I have uh, Mrs. Urmimala, I would welcome to you, I would like to welcome you to the series, ma'am. And I have a couple of questions which our students have put forth. So let me start with unit one, biomolecules. So the basic question is how to study these topics? Over to you, ma'am. Sure, sir. So first and foremost, I would like to emphasize the importance of this unit, sir. It is the first unit for a reason, because without the knowledge of this subject, biochemistry, it would become very challenging to understand many other topics of the syllabus in depth. So hence, it's my advice to the aspiring students, try not to skip this unit in your preparation. And how to study? Well, there is always a particular approach for every subject, especially when you prepare for this exam. For unit one, firstly, one needs to follow a systematic path. Begin with the foundation topics such as atom, molecule structure, bonding, then move to biomolecule structure, after which more complex topics can dealt with, such as protein conformation, Ramachandran plot, enzyme. It's better if one can attend some guidance class so that important concepts can be understood in less time and 
very with le less effort. Because if anyone is starting from scratch, then studying from books and understanding by yourself will be very time consuming and challenging. So thus classes like Biotechnica Conducts, they will certainly make the preparation process butter smooth for you. And third approach is to write and learn or say it aloud and learn. And fourth is obviously to constantly revise at least weekly once. Wonderful. So there you have it, four tips for how to study these topics. Now my question to you, one student has asked is, is this re unit really tough or how to make this simpler and easy? Yes, sir. I get this question a lot. Sir, I'm not going to lie. It's not that easy. One needs to prepare strategically right. for this unit. Else with so many concepts involved, students are bound to get confused and make a hodgepodge at the end. Actually, sir, the problem lies with the basics and foundations. In my 12 plus years right. of teaching experience, I have noticed that this is a subject that is feared by many students. It's not because this is really difficult to understand, but a lot of basic uh -huh. concepts of chemistry and simple biochemistry like functional groups, stereochemistry, oxidation reduction, they need to be clear. Then only you can understand the later concepts, amino acid, charge calculation, protein. So then a team also plays a so for many they didn't have that proper teacher so thus over time a huge gap has been created right so rightly said by ma'am if there is a gap in your basics you're going to struggle so you must build on your foundation this is the basics this is the foundation of your preparation you and that's the reason it is the first unit actually so uh, ma'am the thing is how to make this easier if it is tough, yeah. how to make it easier? Yes, sir. So definitely, uh, firstly, one needs to make the foundations clear, as I said. And for that, one can simply pick up some 11th or 12th NCRT books and just give it a read once. So that basics concepts they get once, they can easily proceed towards the next chapter. Next is you can pick right. up a reference book. And from that reference book, just skim over the important topics and whatever is given in the summary. If you just want uh -huh. to make it easier in the first time, then just go through the summary, which is given at the back of the chapter. Then you can go for some notes, like how Biotechnica provides. We have concept uh, notes, conceptica, we have concept table, concept wheel. So they give you in a very concise form. If you can go through this, then you will definitely not feel the difficulty. And another thing is when somebody makes you understand and you make yourself understand that once again by teaching yourself or somebody else then the topic uh -huh. will become crystal clear to you so these simple approaches sir can be used uh, to make the subject interesting and easy for first time learners wonderful very important points there students from urmi mala ma'am so now um, one important question which always comes up is how many questions do we exact from this unit in csi analytics exam yes sir so generally, almost all units in the syllabus get more or less equal weightage when it comes to the number of questions in question paper. Right. With a few exceptions are there like unit 9, unit 12. But on an average for every unit, even for unit 1, we can expect around 3 to 4 part B questions and 4 to 5 part C questions. One or two questions, extra questions might be there in some of the papers. So sometimes you may get like 4 to 5 part B or 5 to 6 part C. But that, that keeps on varying, sir. There is no pattern as such. Mm -hmm. All right. So, but do we have some topics in this vast unit which we could probably skip and, you know, save on time? Do you think some topics we can skip? Oh, definitely, yes, sir. There are a few topics in this unit from which questions are not that frequently asked. Maybe once mm -hmm. in two, three question papers. So these are amino acid metabolism, lipid metabolism, vitamins, RNA structure and reaction kinetics. And one topic okay. is their colligative property, which is not asked at all. So in case time doesn't mm -hmm. permit, one can you know, safely skip this topic. Skip. No okay. So students like uh, ma'am said, so these are the topics which you can actually skip. So it's not that you have to, you know, study end to end. Some topics can definitely be skipped. So moving ahead, uh, ma'am, now the question is, okay, this unit is vast, but what if I'm targeting two or more exams, say ICMR and GATE and DBT. So will this will this unit help me there in those exams also? 
absolutely sir and definitely yes because biochemistry mm-hmm. is a main core subject it is a major subject and most common in all life science courses whichever you take so be it right. basic zoology or botany or microbiology any classical field any applied field everywhere there will be so needless to say if you prepare for any life science based competitive exam like as you mentioned sir gate dbt icmr uh-huh. preparation of this unit is must and in fact very necessary sir wonderful so ma'am uh, now coming to the reference book because we need some standard books so what according to you is the best book for unit 1 of csi net sir uh, uh, you would already know sir that biochemistry leninger we call it the bible of biochemistry so leninger mm-hmm. is the first book which students can start with because the language is very very simple and it's right. not cluttered with too much of information so most important required information is given later if anyone wants they can move to advanced books like voyet and voyet or else they can go go to strier if they want to learn specifically in enzymology then they can refer okay. palmer or else uh, there is a book by butch bukanan and uh, even uh, hames and hooper so these are uh, these are some of the books walter plant biochemistry so but mm-hmm. then i would say leninger will suffice and in some cases white white and strier okay wonderful so uh, okay now that i have the books i know what topics to study and how to study how to make the notes for this yes a very 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 method? important question yes a very important question it's always better to keep it short so we should ensure mm-hmm. that we should make notes in flow chart form or mind maps like for protein confirmation what are the different levels of confirmation what structural mm-hmm. components in each level with important details like dimensions propensities etc so these can be short 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 topics which which will which you can see all of all all at once and then for making metabolism notes for every topic there is a different pattern so for metabolism tabular form is preferred like with intermediate mm-hmm. names enzymes regulators cofactor types of reaction these can be the heading names even for differences okay. such as abc dna or de novo salvage pathway comparison tables you can also make tables for proteins cofactors like which protein which cofactor which deficiency which disease is involved then for numerical concepts we have to make notes of important formulas what the symbols mm-hmm. in the formula stand for and which all units we use so we should avoid to make notes in paragraphs because they are of no help for last minute revision sir okay so avoid notes in paragraphs notes must be t- you know tabular or bulleted points all right so th- th- those are really wonderful points ma'am uh, i'm sure the students are uh, enjoying this video till now this talk show till now now i have st- i still have few more questions which i think is very important here uh, and that one is if i study this particular unit unit 1 will it help me in any other unit also while preparing oh yes absolutely sir as i said it is the first unit for a reason so without the knowledge mm-hmm. of this subject many other topics will be remaining uh, challenging to go to you and moreover mm-hmm. that's that's one reason like uh, knowledge of molecules will be required in other uh, unit studies as well because if you don't understand enzymes then how do you expect to study the unit 3 dna polymerase rna polymerase what are the subunits why they act together so this will be really very confusing for everyone and moreover sir this is the main important mm-hmm. part we get many related questions with unit 1 like from protein right. and nucleic acid related techniques are there that will come under unit 13 and unit 1 combined then lipid and membrane structure from unit 1 it will come with combined question from unit 2 hemoglobin protein function okay. it will come combined with unit 7 and carbohydrate metabolism mm-hmm. that will come combined with unit 6 like this many more examples are there sir so definitely there is okay. a strong connection with other units okay so students as you can see there is a big overlap in between this unit and other units so that definitely makes it a non skippable unit for you all of you so okay having said that now since you yourself wrote csi net you qualified with a great rank so if you could tell me what challenges you personally faced while studying this unit and how did you overcome them <laughs> sir well that's a very long time ago okay so i did face a lot of challenges when i was preparing on my own as my concepts right. were not that clear through college mm-hmm. actually sir csir syllabus and college study preparation is totally different what we Very study true. in college 
and how we study is extremely superficial whereas for csir mm-hmm. a detailed and in depth understanding of all concept is required and even how to mm-hmm. apply the concepts in solving analytical part c question but when mm-hmm. i availed by a technical coaching class i am an ex student so i realized mm-hmm. that i had simply wasted time trying to prepare on my own within 6 months i became a master of not only this unit but many other difficult units sir it just made me love this subject and many others wonderful thank you so much for your uh, compliment uh, urmi wala ma'am so uh, a disclosure here guys a full disclosure so urmi wala ma'am is a alumni of biotechnica she qualified csir net with a high rank with the help of biotechnica and she fell in love with the subject so much that she uh, continued her profession here at biotechnica and today she is one of the strongest pillars we have got in the academic section all right so uh, thank you ma'am for that wonderful uh, answer now uh, i have two more questions probably one is what's your favorite question so far t- till date which has as been csir net and that's actually uh, uh, from this particular unit if you could highlight yes sir so um, i like personally i like the enzyme kinetics questions a lot because they are very mm-hmm. straight forward and you can directly put them in formula you don't have to study much all enzymology based questions especially the competitive non competitive uncompetitive in very less time you can prepare and a lot of questions vast number of questions because in every question paper there will be at least two three number of questions from enzymology and my second favorite question is amino acids so from there they will ask question about classification or uh, charge calculation protein charge calculation applications with unit 13 techniques like chromatography mm-hmm. and all that Mm-hmm. sequencing okay so these are okay. my favorite questions more scoring types of questions sir right wonderful so uh, now i have come to the end of my first episode of the show ma'am so i have one last question as you can see all the subscribers of biotechnica is just coming out of a pandemic slowly and now they are resuming their regular jobs or academics or whatever and now that csir is also slowly coming back to track now this year we are going to have the second exam in september a few months from now and of course they have promised us three exams and but a lot of uncertainty still remains so what will be your message to the, the students preparing for exam this time csir net so we should not give up give up the hope obviously there will be exam and once that the pattern starts again csir will be happening twice a year it is my firm belief what i have seen even though the covid pandemic has struck but it's over now in my strong belief i think it's over and we are very going to uh, very soon we are going to be on track so uh, my student my message to student is that utilize this time utilize this time when others are not taking it seriously you keep believing you trust and you just keep on preparing give this unit a try don't just lose hope and give up and never think you are weak in this subject you just didn't get the right guidance from a proper teacher so with a little bit of determination and required amount of hard work it is possible to become a master and moreover it's really fun and satisfying when you will be able to solve most difficult questions from here with confidence and prepare yourself for further research wonderful thank you so much uh, urmi wala ma'am for joining us today for this first episode where we discussed about the biomolecules unit 1 so students my dear friends subscribers and fans of biotechnica this was your unit 1 this is all about what to and how to this is all about if you know where to strike you will definitely strike this is all about your krishna for your mahabharata i want you to win and that's why we have this series what if and how to series in today's session we got some wonderful insights but i am sure questions will remain i am sure you would always want guidance from experts like mrs urmi wala ma'am so here is a pointer which i want to put forth if you have questions ask them down in the comment section and if you have any dilemmas any kind of requirements any kind of guidance you require further from the revered experts of biotechnica then come join us we have excellent batches join starting the very next month okay and if you are watching us in future also please watch the entire playlist of what to and how to series because this show is not going to just change the way you prepare it's going to revolutionize 
That's my promise. Signing off, Sheikha Suman, Biotechnica. Thank you. Thank you.